Hello, I thought I'd just show you how to make a fun little block called Friendship Star. So this block, the way I've made it using two and a half inch squares, comes out at six and a half inches, so a six inch finished block. Um, I don't know why it's called Friendship Star, I'm guessing, and it is just a guess, that somebody made it for somebody one day as a friendship gesture, um, but I don't know that it needs to be this shaped block just to make it for a friend. But nonetheless, it is known as the Friendship Star. So it's a very uh, cute little block, easy to make. You just need to make four of these half square triangle bits um, to make it up. So it's a nine patch block. So we need some background squares. We need a color for our star. And then we need some to make some into the half square triangles like this. So you need eight of your background squares and you need five of your colored ones so that we can form these points here. So to form those points, and I'm making one out of this nice bluey greeny color today. I've already got some bits ready. Um, so on our background to make the half square triangles, I'm drawing two lines on the, the back of the background or your lighter color. You could of course reverse it and have the star light and the background dark, that would be different. Um, so with my ruler I'm going to draw right through, and I've got a mechanical pencil here, I'm going to draw right through the diagonal there and then I'm going to line up my half inch mark on that line that I've just drawn and draw another line that ends up being half an inch away from that first line and that we're going to sew on both of those lines because we're going to keep these little triangles while I'm keeping mine. You don't of course have to do that bit. So I've got a couple ready to go here um, so I'm going to take them to the machine and sew both of those lines and we can chain piece these through. There's only a couple but if you were doing more blocks you could do more of course. Now, many of you may have, uh, so I'm just sewing on the drawn line here, many of you may have leftover bits and pieces of two and a half inches um, strips and squares. This would be a good way to use up some of those. Or if you're wanting to cut your own, I have done a video uh, quilting tips and techniques number 141 that shows you how to cut your own two and a half inch strips and squares if you're not too sure on that point. So I'm now I've done both of those through the diagonal and now I'm going to come back and sew on the other drawn line. So I do this second line because I want to keep and reuse these bits that we're going to cut off. And I'm getting quite a collection. Just put them all in a bag. So one day there's probably going to be a multicolored triangle quilt somewhere in, in there. So I'm just snipping off my threads. Because I've already done, you need to do four of these. Because I've already done two, we're just doing two here. So I'm going to trim those off now. So I'm going to cut halfway between my two sewing lines. So if I lay my quarter inch line right over that long sewing line, then I'll cut quarter of an inch away from the long line, which is pretty much halfway between the two lines. They are half an inch apart. And I'll do that on this one as well. So this bit, that we don't need this bit, but you can see that you're ending up with a smaller half square triangle that could be used in a border or another block or something. So now I'm just going to bring this over here and press these. I'm going to press into the, towards the colour. There, so now I've got my four points. So we've got four of the background squares not used yet, so we can lay these out and we're going to pop the star point that way and our center in there. And just make sure you get your points around the right way on these ones. You want it so that the points are all kind of all in one direction, as it were doesn't really matter which direction as long as they're all in the same direction pointing out. So that's how the block's going to go together as a nine patch. So now I'm going to join a little row and you can chain piece these through of pairs. So I'm going to pick these up and sew them. So we're just using quarter inch seam allowance all the time. Um, it's good to have a good quarter inch seam allowance. 
it's worth setting your machine so that you know where you are. You really want a very slightly scant or slightly under a quarter of an inch because as you fold your fabrics over it does take up a small amount, just one thread's worth, but it can make a difference overall on the larger project. That's if you're looking for accuracy. Of course if you're not looking for accuracy you don't need to worry. But I have on this machine I've got a quarter inch foot so I know that my needle is sewing quarter of an inch away from the edge of that foot. So by having my fabric just to the edge, I know that I'm getting a good quarter inch seam allowance. Most machines have quarter inch feet these days. Okay, so we've done that bit. Now we're going to sew the third bit on. So again, just making sure that everything's going the right way. It's always worth checking because nothing worse than having to redo a block because you haven't checked that it's going in the right direction. So that's going on there. And I know these things because I've tried, and tried them out and it's not fun at all to redo a block. And this one. It's often when you pick them up, like I'm doing, it, it can be so easy to turn them around by mistake. So that's why I like to check everything. Right, so we're just about there. It doesn't take too long to make this one. And I'm going to press these seams all in one direction. And this is my middle block. This, this strip here is the same whichever way up you put it, so I'm going to press them in that direction and then I'm going to turn it around so that the seams are going in the opposite direction so that they'll nestle when we join the two rows together. There's our block nearly done. Just got to join those strips together now. exciting when you see blocks coming together, even these fun little blocks. Okay, and one more strip to go on there. it. And again I'm going to press those seams all in the one direction. And these little blocks they can go in between other blocks, they can just go together, they can have sashing between or they don't know, it doesn't have to be a, a quilt of all the same blocks of course. The seams being stubborn here. Okay and there we have a friendship star and a friendship star in different colours and I've just I have made up a small quilt just to show you how if you just piece them all to put them all together um, how you can have this kind of nice spaced out look so you could easily do a dark sky with brightly coloured stars on it or all sorts of things I've had a little bit of fun with the quilting on this one I've done these little swirly bits which I've repeated in the background here um, but that was the friendship star, just the blocks sewn together, no sashing, no alternate, no nothing else. So I just thought that looked quite fun, nice and cheerful. And then I found this wonderful candy stripe for the edge, which I thought was really, just finished it right off, really. So that's my friendship star. <laughs>